Hello and welcome to the present lecture on endoskeleton of rabbit. Rabbit is a vertebrate and it comes under class mammalia. Endoskeleton of rabbit is made chiefly of bones. Like other vertebrates, the endoskeleton of rabbit also has two major divisions. It is axial skeleton and second is appendicular skeleton. Axial skeleton lies along the longitudinal axis of the body. Appendicular skeleton is associated with appendages, that is limbs. Axial skeleton includes skull, vertebral column, ribs attached with vertebral column and sternum. Whereas appendicular skeleton, it consists of the limb bones and the limb bones that which are attached with the girdles that is pelvic girdle and pectoral girdle appendicular skeleton is made up of appendages and the girdles to which the appendages are attached in present video we will be talking of endoskeleton of skull skull is made up of cranium sense capsules and visceral skeleton Cranium, we know it is the covering of the brain. The sense capsules include olfactory capsule that is linked with olfaction or sense of smell. Second is auditory capsule that is, uh, that is linked with hearing. And the third one is orbits that enclose eyes. The third one visceral skeleton, it includes upper jaw and lower jaw. Cranium or brain case, the case that encloses the brain, it consists of four regions or four rings. That is the posterior most or the first one we can say that is occipital ring and then in front of occipital ring is parietal ring and then in front is frontal ring and whereas the anterior most is ethmoidal ring. First of all, we will be discussing occipital segment. You can see in the slide in ventral view a black foramen, an aperture that is called foramen magnum. It is the aperture through which spinal cord comes out. This foramen is surrounded by the part of the cranium that is called occipital part and it consists of upper supraoccipital at the base is basi occipital and on the two lateral sides are exo occipital exo occipitals form the two lateral bones or the lateral sides of this occipital region you can see in the slide uh, the labeled underlined with a red color uh, this is the occipital region at uh, two exo occipitals bear oval somewhat elongated condyles called occipital condyles two occipital condyles mean dicondylic skull these condyles articulate with atlas vertebrae atlas vertebrae is the first vertebrae of the vertebral column towards the side of head these two condyles are responsible for the 180 degree are limited movement or rotation of neck. As we know birds have monocondylic skull and thus they can rotate their neck round by 360 degree. Whereas in uh, the skull of like rabbit it is dicondylic condition and this dicondylic uh, condition allows the movement of or the rotation of neck by 180 degree only. That is, we can rotate just uh, up to the right extreme and then to the left extreme. We can't uh, move or rotate our head towards the back side. Lateral view of this occipital region is also here. Now in front of the occipital region is parietal region. Parietal region here is green underlined labeling uh, shows parietal region here in the figure. Uh, you can see in the slide. Parietal region is formed of dorsal pair of parietals and interparietal lateral alisiphenoids and on the base as basisiphenoid 
but dorsally there are a pair of parietals and interparietal lateral alicephenoids and on the base is basicephenoid sequimosal bone and auditory capsule that is ear it separates parietal region from occipital region sequimosal bone is not the part of parietal region rather this bone pair lies somewhat ventral and lateral to parietals the upper pair of parietals uh, they are uh, located somewhat dorsal and central to the sequimosal it is a somewhat triangular shaped bone uh, which is very significant in terms of jaw suspension the zygomot the zygomatic process of uh, this sequimosal bears a mandibular fossa for articulation with lower jaw that is mandible or we can say the lower jaw articulates with sequimosal of the skull so we see dorsal roof of the parietal region is formed of parietal bones and interparietal occurs between two parietals and supra occipitals floor of the parietal region is formed of basicephenoid uh, the dorsal surface of this basicephenoid bears a depression that is known as cella turcica and it contains pituitary gland as we know and the lateral sides of uh, this uh, parietal region is formed of alicephenoids a part of alicephenoids forms base of the orbit you can see uh, the sequimosal parietal basicephenoid and alicephenoids in the figure here now in front of the parietal region is frontal region frontal region at the frontal segment is made up of uh, the dorsal pair of frontals uh, precephenoids and orbitocephenoids on the sides that is precephenoids at the base orbitocephenoids from the lateral sides of this segment and frontals from the roof of this frontal region the lateral orbitocephenoids in case of rabbit uh, they are partially fused to form a thin vertical median interorbital septum and that is the separation between two orbitals orbitals are uh, the spaces that enclose eyes the interorbital septum is formed of uh, by the fusion of orbitocephenoids orbitocephenoids form the lateral walls of cranium and orbits as a pair of frontals form the roof of the frontal region outer middle part of each frontal forming the dorsal boundary of orbits through its supraorbital process you can see here in the figure uh, the labeling underlined with blue uh, blue pen it is the frontal region you can also see in the slide the precephenoid and orbitocephenoid fused together the bones have been shown also the frontal in its dorsal and ventral view they are also shown as separate bones now the interior most part of the cranium it is ethmoid ring it occupies the part anterior to cranial cavity it's not well separated from the olfactory capsule due to its intimate association with it and it is it includes a single mesethmoid bone and this mesethmoid bone forms nasal septum and that is uh, the septum that separates two nasal apertures or nasal cavities or two olfactory chambers from each other this is nasal septum formed by mesethmoid bone this was all about uh, the different segments of uh, this cranium and now the sense capsules and there are three pairs of sense capsules that is olfactory capsules and they that are linked with olfaction auditory capsules and that are the organs of hearing and orbits that enclose eyes as we are discussing endoskeleton uh, we will be concerned only with the bone composition of these different sense capsules as far as this first olfactory capsule is concerned at the nasal chamber or the olfactory capsule 
roof of the olfactory chambers is formed by the two long narrow bones they are called nasals these nasals extend forward from frontals and their anterior ends form upper boundaries of external nostrils apart from nasals this olfactory capsule consists of a pair of vomers and the terminals the vomer bones are fused together and they are attached to the nasal septum and terminals each olfactory or nasal chamber encloses an irregular mass of scroll bones comprising of ethmoterminal maxilloterminal and nasoterminal three terminals that is ethmoterminal maxilloterminal and nasoterminal these terminals are lined with mucous membrane and they help in increasing the sensory surface of the olfactory chamber you can see here in the figure uh, these different terminals have been shown particularly ethmoterminal and maxilloterminal now is the auditory capsule uh, a pair of auditory capsules are attached to the posterior lateral region of the cranium as already told that occipital and parietal regions are separated by auditory capsule plus squamosal bone each auditory capsule includes periotic and tympanic bones periotic as you can see in the figure it fits loosely between squamosal and occipital ring the tympanic the tympanic is a membrane bone it is closely applied to outer surface of each periotic you can see in the figure its lower flask shaped swollen part the swollen lower part of this tympanic it's called tympanic bulla it encloses the tympanic cavity of the middle ear which includes three ear ossicles that is malus inicus and stapes tympanic bulla is continued upward as tubular neck enclosing the external auditory meatus as you can see in the figure now we will be taking visceral skeleton uh, the visceral skeleton as already told it is made up of upper jaw and lower jaw and hyoid apparatus the snout roof in rabbit is constituted by upper jaw it is made up of premaxillae maxillae jugals pterygoids and palatines premaxillae and there are two premaxillae that form the anterior most part of the upper jaw and they bear several processes extending backward and downward and there are maxillae two maxillae are large bones that form the greater part of the upper jaw and sides of the face you can also see on the slide the jugal bones the pterygoids that form the upper jaw and there are two palatines that are irregular shaped bones that form the posterior part of hard palate anterior part of the palate uh, is made up of the process of maxilla now the lower jaw are mandible lower jaw are mandible consists on either side of a single membrane bone the dentary that is the dentary forms the mandible each dentary is somewhat triangular vertical bony plate forming uh, bearing along its upper edge sockets for teeth the condyle on this dentary it is thick elongated longitudinally and set much higher well above the level of the teeth it articulates with the glenoid fossa of the sequimosal that is it has its role in the jaw suspension of the rabbit now hyoid apparatus the third and the last part of this visceral skeleton hyoid apparatus is buried in the floor of the mouth cavity to give support to the tongue and larynx this small plate like bone it lies transversely between the two rami of the mandibles 
this is how the lower jaw the upper jaw the sense capsules and different segments of the cranium and they form the different parts of skull we will continue the other parts of the endoskeleton that is vertebral column and others uh, in the next videos inshallah uh, for now uh, thanks for your keen listening p at e n k y o u p thank you jazakallah